السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Peace be upon you What's our topic today? Our topic today inshallah will uh, be a new grammatical rule It's called the six nouns There are only six nouns in the Arabic language You may ask yourself this question Of course no We have in the Arabic language many different types of names like proper name, common name, and so on. Okay, why we deal with these nouns uh, separately in a group? This is a good question. Thank you for asking. But I will tell you not now, at the end of the lesson. Inshallah. Okay? But remember to um, ask me this question at the end first I want you to uh, pay attention with me yeah I are with me so far great there are the six nouns in the Arabic language in this table yeah this table shows you uh, the six nouns in the Arabic and the meaning in English below okay look to the translation in English and I will read with you the Arabic okay read with me now hen fa and above it you uh, found you find what which vowel dhamma so fu fu du Ham, ah, ab, hen, fu, thu, ham, ah, ab. Great. And this hen means think, uh, fu, mouth, and so on. Great. Now you can identify these nouns in any sentence. Yeah, you may say, yes, of course, it's so easy. Okay. I want you now to identify the six nouns in these sentences. Yeah, are they related to the six nouns? Great job! They are similar to them. Actually, they are not similar, they are the same. How? Yeah, great, you ask me. You will find here up. And after it, we find three letters. Okay, why? We will uh, we can connect the two letters of the word to other letters. Okay, what are these letters? You will know, but not now. So now we have different forms of uh, the six nouns. Yeah. Uh, in order to identify the words in any sentence, you have to know all these forms. You took a uh, declension before. What's the meaning of Arab? Um, declension. Which means declension. Okay? So uh, the Arab of uh, the word here, the word ab. Uh, Accent is khabar. Who abuna here is khabar. Okay, the uh, sign here is what? Is dhamma? No. So this is the answer of your question before. Why we put them separately? You asked me this before, yeah? They are signed, but uh, not by the three signs, Fatha, Kasra, and Dham on their ends. But they are instead declinable with verse. In other words, long vowel endings. Wow. Wow here. And Aleph. And afterwards you find, yeah. The following table shows us the difference between the regular declension with short vowels ending uh, signs or signs 
Dhamma Fatha Kasra and the irregular declension with long vowel signs. Alif, Wow, Yeah. Okay, that related to these nouns. Okay, let's see. Here, this is a regular declension, signs or short vowels. Short vowels mean Dhamma Fatha Kasra. And this is a grammatical case. Nominative, a rafa. A rafa, nominative, here with Dhamma. Hada, waladu. This is regular noun, regular declension. And this is proper name or common name. Great is common name, like in English. Here, hada waladu. If I make it bigger, hada waladu. This is a transcription of the pronunciation of the word. This is a boy. Translation English. Uh, by the way, you shouldn't um, look to the translation all the time. After that, you have to speak English. I have to. Uh, sorry, Arabic. You have to listen to the words. All the words in Arabic, not in English at all. Nominative. هذا ولد. ولد here in a nominative case. حالة في حالة الرفع. في حالة الرفع هذا ولد. Great. And here, uh, this is a regular declension. هذا أبونا. هذا أبونا. What about أبونا here? If we compare the two uh, words, ولد and أبونا. Yeah. أبونا with wow accent. So this is the sign, the long vowel. Wow. Great. Um, this is our lesson today. Uh, we just take only one case as an example. Inshallah, we will take all the cases next time. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.